Cody CC and Brett Kulak both getting out of Oil Town. That's what's been tweeted out. So let's take a look at this on Full Time Hockey Oilers Edition. So welcome back everybody. Just a few days ago we got that Philip Broberg and uh, Dylan Holloway double whammy from the St. Louis Blues. So they both signed those uh, <laughs> crazy uh, large, crazily large deals for uh, offer sheets to go to St. Louis. So 2.29 million for Dylan Holloway and 4.58 million for the 10 game Philip Broberg from last season. Okay, so this puts Oilers puts the Oilers in a tough position for Stan Bowman. So uh, if Ken Holland was still here, this would not have happened because uh, as reported by many the GM uh, of the St. Louis Blues, Doug Armstrong and Ken Holland are buddies so uh, they won't screw each other up and Stan Bowman comes onto the boat and wow not even one month or not even half a month and he gets this uh, double strike by uh, his old pal Doug Armstrong so uh, what's gonna happen so what's likely gonna happen Probably we can keep Holloway, but not Broberg. So uh, Broberg is too expensive. But uh, out there, there's been uh, speculation or that there's been confirmation by some uh, tweeter that uh, the Oilers are actually engaged in moving Kulak and CC at the same time during this off season for some, uh, I don't know, not for some picks, along with some picks. Sorry. So we've got a tag along first and second rounds to get rid of these guys uh-uh that sounds crazy first off i don't believe philip broberg is worth 4.58 million for his uh such a young career and uh you know he's barely played in the nhl level and on top of that he's the guy who wants out of all town okay he requested a trade last december or something like that he doesn't want to stay as an oiler so why are we sacrificing all this you know uh, uh commodities or uh you know the stock offer coverage to keep him at 4.58 million which is like four times bloated okay for what he should be paid this uh you know this young at this young career stage so uh we can uh you know we can blame the oilers organization blame the brass for uh you know holding up too long with po both holloway and uh Broberg for so long and not signing them you know it's important that you know uh, dry settle gets his money he's the big star he's number two on this team but you probably know what you're going to do with dry settle right you know you have to keep Holloway you want to keep Broberg because that's what was uh, what 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 the plan for Holland was you know keep this guy he's just gonna be a stud Swedish defenseman he can skate he's big and lanky you know he can pass he can score at times he's you know all around pretty good and he's supposed to turn out into a you know a stud but why are you guys holding them out and not paying them not signing them on and like for this such a long time uh, as reported by Elliot Friedman I think uh, Holloway was only asking for 1.1 to 1.2 million dollars for his uh, next contract okay to stay in Old Town I think he enjoys it here he likes playing with the big big uh, big boys and maybe win a cup in Edmonton okay he's from Calgary so Edmonton is nearby and he probably wants to stay here because it's close to home and then uh, uh, what was it a uh, Broberg Broberg was asking for like somewhere between uh, 1.7 to 2 mil for his uh, next two or three year contract or something like that not out of the you know not out of whack it's reasonable I know he he believes he's a good player he has been playing in the minors for uh, probably extra too long of a time like two extra years down in the A he should have been called up okay and then he probably would have been paid a bit more okay but you know he's not enjoying it down there because he believes he's an NHLer a full-time NHLer and he should be playing up here instead of down there and he only got 12 games or something like that in the whole 23-24 season and he's dissatisfied he just wants out okay that's why he signed that ludicrous uh, offer from St. Louis you know first off money 4.58 million for two years that's 9 million he's not going to get that in, in oil town as mentioned in the previous episode so you know we can't blame him you know he's a youngster he wants the money he wants the opportunity to play even though he'll probably be like the 10th left-handed defenseman on their team already but that's his choice okay and if he screws up or he doesn't play well he doesn't perform well then st louis has got to live with it and doug armstrong will be in the hole for another two years okay because he's just screwed his team over by signing a, a young kid with not much experience at this level to a huge contract okay 
So, uh, trading out Kulak and CC to uh, retain these guys, including dumping our number one and number two picks. We're already short on stock for these, uh, you know, uh, draft picks. We've spent, like, way too much with uh, Ken Holland spending it at these, uh, you know, uh, what, what do we call them, rentals for the trade deadline. Half of the guys he traded for did not stay. And then we lost our picks, so we're pretty bare on in, in that department. And our team is the second oldest team with the second highest average age in the whole league. And uh, we need to get some young blood, eh? You know, play two or three more years later. McDavid will be 30 or something. Everybody will be, th uh, you know, right now in the early 30s will be 35. So that's uh, way past expiry date for, like, top performance, okay? And then if we've got no youngsters to come up into the system, the Oilers will be back into the ditch like those days of darkness and will suck once again okay so uh, we can't afford to uh, trade out Kulak and CC to attach these picks uh, I would however you know if we want to keep Holloway we could sacrifice something to get rid of CC but definitely not a first rounder okay second rounder maybe okay he's worth 3.25 million that will cover the cost for Holloway okay and then there's extra uh, uh, a million or so Okay, we just use a cheaper defenseman from the A or something that's uh, on the ELC. So, for example, uh, Phil Camp or uh, uh, even the the new draft, uh, the new number one draft pick, uh, Bo Aki, Bo Aki, whatever his name is. Okay, they're all under one mil. Or even as uh, Bob Stoffer tweeted out a few days ago. Okay, then he's usually right when he tweets something out. We might get Tyson Berry back or even uh, Justin Schultz. So these ex Oilers. Okay. Justin Schultz, I'm not sure, I haven't watched him play for a while, okay, since uh, he was an Oilers probably 10 years ago. Tyson Berry, however, as I mentioned in a few episodes earlier, I would uh, prefer him to come back. Probably now that he hasn't even got any deals offered to him yet, he'll probably take the league minimum to uh, find a job. So uh, maybe we can offer him like, uh, what, 900k or something, or 1 million to be fair. He can slot in right hand D, he can play with Nurse, I think he played with Nurse already before. If you don't trust him as a top 4, move him down, okay? Move him down to the third pairing, okay? And uh, June, you've got a whole year, you can try out, uh, maybe move Kulak up, okay? Kulak is very uh, defensively responsible, he's pretty good. Uh, offensively sometimes as well he's not a liability except for that I uh, once screw up during uh, game seven and uh, we lost the cup but else elsewhere he's been pretty uh, you know in other departments he's been performing pretty well and uh, at two point something million dollars for his cap hit it's gonna hard, be hard to uh, very hard to replace him okay so you don't want to get rid of him for sure okay so sign Tyson Berry or even Justin Schultz for a million or, or, or around that uh, number if, uh, you know, something happens to, say, Bouchard, okay, we've got a, another QB for the power play, because Tyson Berry used to uh, be the number one QB for the number one power play, okay? He did pretty well. He scored 40-something points in that first year he was here. He was the highest scoring defenseman that didn't win Norris. So he'll be he'll be fine at that department, okay? He's played with McDavid, Nuge, Dreisaitl. They all know the, the, the trick. So I would prefer Barry to come back. There's no time for... Uh, there's no time wasted to be, uh, you know... Uh, to require more practice and getting along with each other to know how you play. Uh, if Justin Schultz was the case, because he hasn't been here for 10 years and now all these guys are new to him, maybe except for Nuge. And uh, yeah, it'd be nice to have Barry come back, okay? So uh, I don't know if you guys all agree with that. Uh, signing back an ex Oiler that's getting up in his age, but at league minimum. There's nothing to lose. I don't think it's gonna be like, even if he doesn't perform as well as before, if he doesn't get like 40 something points, he'd probably get 30 something points as a defenseman. And that's probably, you know, more uh, more on the safe side than paying 4.58 to see if, and that's an if Broberg can perform as well as he did in the playoffs last year. Okay, so uh, I'd like to hear your comments and uh, your replies to what uh, we uh, discussed today. Would you uh, trade out uh, CC or, an, uh, or Kulak or both? I would prefer not to trade Kulak for sure. CC has to go, I believe, because uh, he's been, uh, you know, not very good. He's cost as many games, especially in the playoffs. And uh, yeah, it's time for him to go back to Ottawa or something. Sorry about that, but if he stays, he might have a chance to play with Nurse, and that's just hell broken loose, okay? And I don't want to ever, ever see that pairing play on the Oilers again. 
because Nurse ain't going anywhere with this 9 million Albatross contract. We can't get rid of him unless he uh, plays better. But, uh, you know, pairing him with CC is just double chaos. So, uh, no, okay? Thanks to uh, all of you to uh, listen in again on this episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little chat. Please subscribe, share, and like this video if you find it interesting. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you again for all your support. And bye.